Hi, I'm Eleanor Silverstein, and welcome to the Feldenkrais Guild of North America conference series, where the theme is breath. It will run live September 6th, the 27th, and October 18th, 2024. Today, I'm here with Roger Russell and Jeff Haller, and the title of their workshop is Breathing, a Fundamental Movement of Life. I'd love to hear what you guys are going to be teaching this year. Okay. One Thank more you, time Eleanor. with Roger and me. Pardon me? <laughs> One more time with you and me. That yeah. is correct. <laughs> An annual team here. Um, well, the idea behind this title is uh, comes out of biology. And out of the ideas of um, James Gibson and Edward Reed, who described fundamental biological activities. And um, we used, Ula and I were working with our graduate program several years ago, about 10 years ago. And we felt like um, those ideas which they name eight, uh, Reed and Gibson and name eight fundamental activities that every animal has to do. And one of them was breathing. So that means this is fundamental to living systems. Actually, the real basis of it is metabolism because the animal has to have some way to get energy and it does that um, almost every animal by burning oxygen. So they're using oxygen to burn some sort of uh, sugars or other carbohydrates. And um, so breathing is basically built into the every part of our, our system, not just our anatomy, um, but also our physiology and our nervous system. So breathing is an activity that we all do have to do and that's been true true since, oh, sometime in uh, three and a half billion years ago or something like that. So what are we going to do with this idea for this conference? Basically, we're going to just point out this idea of how breathing is so central and then look at how it plays a role in any ATM lesson, not just breathing lessons. But if we look at the the uh, anatomy of breathing, the way the our diaphragm is set up in our system, our our um, trunk, and all the muscles involved, then we find out that pretty much any Feldenkrais lesson is going to reorder how we breathe. So that's the basic idea. We we intend to look at some of the anatomy a little more carefully to find out how that works, what's just the anatomical connections that make it necessary that if you reorganize in any way at all, the way you use your trunk, that means let's call it the spine from your head to your pelvis, you're going to be uh, involving the breathing in the actual reorganization itself. So that's the basic idea. And it means something that, um, it's part of biological functional integration. Mm -hmm. That's the basic idea. So we will take a, an ATM lesson and look at it from a few points of view. One will be anatomical. Another will be the uh, neurophysiology of the breathing movements themselves, but how they are integrated with many other things we do so I'm going to share this little picture that Ula and I put together for our um, courses, but we also, this, this is in my kinesiology review article from 2020. And I'll just share it with everyone. And so here we are. Maybe we can move that over more to the center. Yeah, that's good. So these are th these different dots represent these movements of life that are that directly relate to Feldenkrais lessons. It's 
what Gibson, Gibson and Reed did is they made a more general overview. But we thought about how it applies, how that idea applies to every Feldenkrais lesson, and to show how the the each of these activities is coordinated and integrated with each every single one of the other ones. And it helps make sense of many of the, the Feldenkrais mysteries that we do. We do something with, with our eyes and our feet are softer and our breathing is different. We do something with our breathing and we sense a more, a change in the peripheral vision or the way we hear. All these different surprises and lessons um, are related to this fact that breathing is just fundamental part of our, our life. And if we know that, we can look for it. So if we look at it from the point of view of, of uh, exploring any kind of ATM lesson, we can continue to pay attention to how the breathing reorganizes. But we can use this idea in our FI lessons by taking a look at what we could pay attention to if this idea of the integration of breathing into any kind of movement pattern we're doing mm. is part of our thinking in FI and what we're paying attention to. So that gives us possibilities to reconsider what breathing lessons actually offer. And that's the theme we'll be looking at. Wow, very good. Thank you, Roger. And well, you're, so you're saying that breathing is not as as a technique, but as how it goes with the movement in awareness through movement. Is that correct? More than that. It's if you think about evolution, then metabolism, that means how we get the energy to burn to do anything and how every animal does that is by inhaling air and getting oxygen out of it and sending that oxygen through the body, through the circulation, in order to be doing anything. And so if we look at the evolution of the, the anatomy and the, all the activities animals do, then the way breathing is organized is part of evolution. And so every part of ourselves is involved in breathing. So it's not just about the breathing movements or the anatomy, but it's about a more fundamental level of organization of our coordination, period. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, this really gets me thinking of so many things that Moshe talked about with breath, right? You know, right. how do you know a rock is not alive? It's you don't see breath. You don't see movement. You know, what is shallow breathing? What is, you know, every time the breath is different towards different movement. So thank you. And then Jeff, so Roger, will you be teaching? I'll take my picture or Jeff? Off. Oh, sure. Thank you. So I will be teaching an original awareness through movement lesson, one that I've been working on and developing. And it's a, basically a lesson that has to deal with how shifting support and shifting our relationship with support surfaces provides us with an opportunity to enhance our breath. And it'll be, it'll be, uh, it'll be, it, it's got some life in it. And, uh, and so I think you'll find that the lesson will be uh, really worth participating in. And to go along with Roger's notion, as you understand this lesson more clearly, then you'll clearly have another means to look at how you practice functional integration. You'll be able to integrate this directly into your functional integration practice. So... Yeah, it, this will be an original lesson. It, it will, it uh, it's one I've been developing over the last uh, few weeks, actually. So, very good. Is there anything else you both would like to add? Well, we're looking forward to having people in our class. Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to bring your lungs and your biology with you. <laughs> yeah, bring, bring your bring your ability to shift the the, the your your the, the surface that you're that you're engaged with in order to develop a, a an enhanced way of breathing. Very good, very good. Thank you both so much. I'm looking forward to seeing you and your uh, class, your workshop, which will be on the last day 
of the conference, which is, um, what is that? October 18th, I believe that that's when you'll be right. teaching. So we'll be closing up with you and I recommend Great. everybody to come. So thank you we'll both. We'll do our best. You always do. <laughs> thank you both so much. <laughs> See welcome. you soon. Looking okay. forward to being there. All right.